Hey everyone, welcome back to another video in our series about recovering from elbow surgery. Elizabeth Scala here, your host. And if this is your first video, really quickly, I am a patient of elbow surgery. I fractured my elbow in July and received, or went through, I should say, uh, elbow repair surgery, which included putting a metal plate uh, right onto my elbow in August. Then I went through occupational therapy uh, to recover and attempt to get my elbow back up and moving for months. And here we are, uh, about 11 months later. <laughs> and that's why I wanna to talk to you about today, something related to sleep and rest. So this video series, which is a vlog, are many videos all about elbow surgery and recovering from such. And there is another video about sleep, so I'll link out to that video um, in the comments below. But specifically, I wanted to talk about the length of time sleeping and the amount of rest that you would need when you're recovering from surgery. And I thought about this video funnily, funny, funny enough because uh, I woke up this morning, as I have been, 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. And that doesn't mean I jump right out of bed. Uh, currently, I'm not working at an organized, established employer, working more for myself. And anyway, so when I used to work for a hospital, you know, the alarm would go off and I'd jump out of bed. So when I broke my elbow, I did have difficulty sleeping a lot of difficulty sleeping the first month or so. When I fractured my elbow, I fell off my bicycle and hit pavement. So there was a lot of road rash, like all scraping up in here from the road, the pavement hitting my arm. So the surgeon could not operate. And that's why my surgery was a month later from my actual fall. So you may or may not experience this yourself because you might have your incident or injury, and then you have your surgery quickly after. But I had that lag time. And what's interesting is during that month of lag time, that waiting for surgery time, I didn't have physical pain. Of course, I was doing everything I could not to jolt my elbow or move it um, too much because the bones were not connected, right? They were like flopped across. But my surgeon did want me to take off my wrap every day and expose my arm to room air and just let mother nature and fresh air do its thing, especially for that road rash, we had to let it heal. So anyway, I had, double, I had trouble sleeping that month because I wasn't really using any pain medication and I was just living my life with a broken arm. Then I had the surgery and during surgery, I received a nerve block that numbed my arm from all the way to the shoulder to all the way to my fingertips. That way they could actually operate on the arm. And for uh, 24 hours afterwards, that was the case. This arm was completely numb and my fingers kind of dropped to gravity. It was funny. But my surgeon wanted me to take a pain medication pill uh, during the night, right after surgery, and then that very next morning, just to make sure that I didn't have all of a sudden the sharp shooting pain. Long story short, I did require, due to increased levels of pain, that narcotic pain medication for about two and a half months. And then my surgeon no longer prescribed it and lots of other things happened related to complex regional pain syndrome, but that's not the video topic here. What I'm telling you about though related to sleep during that time after surgery and then for months later, I would be physically exhausted, absolutely drained from the activities in occupational therapy, from just attempting to do as much of my activities of daily living as I could, and from the mental and emotional, psychological, toil, strain, drain that this event, that this healing process was taking on me. So I would go up to bed at 8 p.m. close to every night, sometimes even earlier. It was, it, it was absolutely insane for me, but I couldn't keep my eyes open and just would say to my husband, you do what you want, you keep watching your show, 
I am thoroughly exhausted. I need to go lay down and go to bed. And I just had to listen to my body. Well, interestingly enough, those months after surgery, I would sleep and I would sleep. <laughs> I might wake up once in the middle of the night just to shuffle to the bathroom. And there's, I'm going to make another video about being a fall risk because we certainly are sort of a fall risk after elbow surgery. But I would sleep for 12 hours, 13 hours, get this, the most, 14 hours some nights. Literally, I really would be sleeping. Yes, I might wake up and have to like reposition myself. That's in that other video. But I would immediately fall right back to bed and I would sleep for 12, 13, 14 hours. Now, I am not a person to do that. Anyone in my family will tell you Elizabeth is the lightest sleeper. Anyone in my family will tell you she's up very early in the morning. You know, like right now. I mean, I was up at 5, 30, 6 o'clock this morning, and that's what made me think about this video. So you may find yourself sleeping more than you are typically used to. And please do not feel guilty about that. Please do not get upset with yourself or think that you're lazy or something is wrong with you. Your body needs rest. It has gone through an enormous trauma, a physical trauma, and it needs to repair itself. Your body is literally regenerating itself after the surgery and whatever your surgeon does to your arm that their job is to do, after they're done, your body's job is then to heal. To heal physically, to heal mentally and emotionally, spiritually, energetically, psychologically. You are healing on so many levels, levels we may not even be conscious or aware of. So your body needs rest. And if you need to sleep that long, or on another um, level, I am not a napper. I do not take naps. Naps make me tired and groggy. I wake up for a nap and I usually feel worse than when I fell asleep. I will tell you during the acute months, the high intensity months of elbow surgery, healing and recovery, I took naps. And some of my naps were two hours long, <laughs> as you see in another video where I talk about driving. So listen to your body, honor your body. If your body needs rest, if you need to sleep for 12 hours a night, do so. Don't fight the healing process. Don't fight that repair that needs to happen. So I hope this was helpful. If you have questions about elbow surgery or recovering from elbow surgery, leave comments below. And there's plenty more videos where this came from, uh, this actual series about healing from elbow surgery or check out doing some yoga or qigong along with me in my other playlists. All right, well, I'll see you the next time. And for now, be well. Thank you.